our first grandson, given life by the Father, born to our son Devin and his beautiful wife Danny on May 17, 2016, the first of the next generation of young Murphy boys expected to carry forth the torch or the baton of being an athlete. This short video will, without a doubt, allow you just a brief moment in time to experience Declan Maximus Murphy, a special child, loving at an early age all that would dare to encounter him, though he is incapable of doing such through normal means. His language is one of touch, that of intimate, close proximity, to complete strangers, freely giving his love without limits. I cannot help but think it is a direct reflection similar to that of Jesus in our lives. We can recall with clarity the day we received the phone call from Danny, her heart broken as she cried uncontrollably with the news that Bubbers, our nickname for Declan, had been diagnosed after 14 months of uncertainty as to the cause for his lack of development, a disease so rare, so never seen, that the local healthcare professionals simply had no clue as to its origins. The name of the disease is Plesius Merzbacher disease, or PMD. Plesius Merzbacher disease is a genetic disorder that concerns the white matter of the brain. PMD is so rare that each case can be different from the next. Declan is missing a protein that works to produce the protective covering around all of the nerves in his body. This covering is called myelin. Myelin works to make sure that all the signals in your body are communicated efficiently and correctly. Since Declan is missing this protein, his brain cannot communicate with the rest of his body as easily as other children his age. In short, Bubbers will more than likely never walk, may never talk, and depending upon the severity of the disease, we could lose him at an early age. The day was here, the day our little Declan was to be born, and I would be lucky enough to witness his grand entrance into our world. I knew very well the deep love of mother and child as I have birthed four precious children of my own. But this is a wild love, a crazy love that I knew nothing of. Well, until that very special day. We were beyond devastated, but knew that Devin was near to the house after picking Bubbers up from daycare. Devin had obviously been crying as he walked through the door, and immediately we ascended the stairs to Mom and Dad's room. That place of childhood oh, discipline, but at the same oh, time goodness. that place for many intimate conversations of life. As Darla lay beside him, caressing as only a mother can, we simply let him cry for a bit. What do you say to your child, especially to the one that desired a house full of children after such devastating news? Memories of Devin began to flood my thoughts as he had assisted us in taking care of the younger toddlers in daycare at church and how they flocked to Devin playing with each of them on the floor of the room. Little did we know at the time that this was experiential knowledge, that it would be the place that he and Danny would spend most of their time with Bubbles. I remember the day very well. Devin was 16 years old or so, and we were talking about school and the various things of life. And he looked at me deep into my eyes, and he said, all I will out of life is children, and a lot of them. I knew what I needed to ask Devin after the outpouring of grief. Son, I am speaking to you as your earthly father, but want you to imagine that I am, in fact, speaking to you as the heavenly father, okay? He shook his head yes. Devin, I created you and Danny long before you had any idea, specifically, to be the parents of a special needs son. I want to ask you, Devin, would you be Declan's father for me? There was a pause, and I could see the question running through his mind, and not long soon after he said, 
Dad, you know I would say yes. Well then, put on those boots, lace them up tight, and be the very best father that you can be to Bubbers. Devin and Danny accepted the challenge together. And though each day brings greater revelations of just how very much he depends upon them, they simply cannot do this alone. The name Declan means a man of prayer, and we can only pray that he becomes that and much more in its entirety. He may never speak to you and I, but certainly him, our Father, that hears beyond our human comprehension, will in fact converse with Declan much. Maximus means the greatest, and though we know this holds true for our son, it begs, it pleads for your participation. Maximus, it calls for you, it calls for me, it calls for us, to be all that we can be in the life of a special young boy, to give him back, without limitation, the same love he gives each of us daily. Who's the cutest of the cuties? Me! <laughs> Who loves Jesus? Me! <laughs> Who's a big boy? Me! <laughs> you crazy guy. <laughs>